Hello, one and all, to another, another average shaman uh, video. Uh, for the disclaimers today, I would like to thank everyone who has subscribed to my channel. I am currently up to 117 subscribers, so guys, absolutely thank you for that. It is amazing. Uh, I didn't expect to get this far on and it's amazing that you guys are uh you what you're watching the content uh you're liking the content and you're asking for for content as well in speaking of which i was asked to do a video on my stat weights so here the video is but before i go into my stats i think it's worth saying that depending on the build uh depends on what your stat weights should be uh so I'm going to the build that I, I am running at the minute is my lava actuators and I am in the the necroloid covenant as a disclaimer so my stat weights are such I have 22% crit I have 29% haste and 59% mastery I have 5% versatility and leech and avoidance and speed of yeah they're, they're not really they're needed uh, I am going to hover over my gear one after another uh, just so you can see what gems and enchants I have got etc but with the head I have got a rattling dead forge hood that comes with crit mastery and it is 262 item level with the neck I've got the quick oxillion uh, necklace ox eye necklace sorry I got that from the auction house uh, I think I paid like 24k and I've just banged in, uh, I got haste and mastery and I banged in another uh, haste gem on that. Apart from that, on my shoulders I've got mantle of the ethereal visages, comes with verse and mastery. With back I've got drape of titanic dreams, haste and mastery. This cape is pretty much bis and I've got it enchanted with uh, 20 stamina and minor speed increase. With my chest, I've got a 275 Harness of Twisted Whims, and that comes with Haste and Crit. That is pretty much bis or near bis, uh, because it gives me a shitload of haste and a fair whack of crit. And I've got the uh, the reinforced stamina on it, with that just comes with a... Uh, my reinforced stamina is a heavy desolate armor kit, but I've got enchanted uh, Eternal Skirmish on that. I've got Primal Larva Actuators, I've got Haste Mastery on that with a Haste Gem. I have got my Set Gloves, and that just comes with Verse Mastery, bog standard. There will always be Verse Mastery. My Waste, I've got Verse Mastery again, Clasp of the Waning Shadow, but it is worth come next week, i.e. this Wednesday reset, once we've done the, uh, the, the once we've finished the, the campaign, you do get a Lego one. So anyone that's looking at my waist and thinking, oh, I should get that, don't worry, because if you just keep up with the Lego, with the campaign, sorry, and you get a Lego. So the waist is here or there at the minute. Uh, legs, pretty much bis, especially for this build. It's Haste, Mastery, and they're Wind Dancers, Legards. Uh, for my boots, I've got spat Spatial Rift Striders, 259. And they are haste, crit, and avoidance. I got the avoidance on them, which is good. Uh, and I've just enchanted them with agility. My rings, I've got a 272 Blood Off Signet. Uh, I've got a shitload of haste on it and a shitload of crit. Uh, the haste is 170, the crit is 120, and I've got it and gemmed and enchanted with both uh, haste on it. So that ring I will very rarely replace unless it comes with. Uh, I, I don't know if I'll ever replace that one. Uh, it's it's a bloody good ring. I got really lucky with it, and I upgraded that bad boy to the max it could go very quickly. After that, I've got Signet of the False Accuser. Pretty much base, especially on this. It comes with... Uh, it's 246, so it's from last season. Uh, it's got Haste and Mastery, and Enchanted with Crit and Haste. I enchanted it with Crit purely because it's my old ring, so I haven't actually had chance to replace the enchant but if i if i wanted to replace that enchant i would probably replace it with the haste one which i kind of semi forgot so i will actually be replacing that with the haste one 
apart from that, I've got Fire Putrification from last season at 252. That just gives me agility and my attacks chance to do more damage. Uh, my new uh, trinket, which is a 259 overcharged anime battery, anime battery that every 1 minute 30 seconds I gain 471 haste, uh, which is basically a mini blood bloodlust. I will equip it now. And my haste goes up to 42%. I will click it off. It was 29. So it's a good bump up to my uh, to my haste, uh, which, you know, it's it's bloody good, actually. It's really, really good. I was using uh, Titanic Ocular Gland. I still have it, but I am slowly going to be carrying, mainly using this until I replace it with... Uh, do do do. Where's the where's that boss? With trinket? No, it's not that. Dosage? No, it's not that. It is sigil. Uh, no, it's not. Where is it? Uh, there we go. Elegy of the Eternals. Uh, you gain one hundred and eight of your highest secondary stat, and grant ten percent of the bonus. So it's that's what I'll be replacing it with pretty much. Uh, what else? There is another. There is another trinket that's really good and it gives me uh it gives me haste i can't hmm trust me when i'm doing a video i can't actually find the, the trinket ah uh, you know there but yeah there those are my stat weights that's my build uh but if i was to go uh enhance uh my wolf build which is my single target i will equip the gear onto this not much of my gear has changed and I'm not really going to go over too much to what's changed. The only thing that changed is my ring, my trinket, I've gone back to the titanic ocular gland, and uh, my wrists. My wrists, I gain more verse mastery. My ring, I gain haste mastery because it's witch doctors. You want a shitload of haste on it, a shitload of mastery. And the trinket puts my haste up to 34%. So my crit is now 21%. My haste is 34% and my mastery is slightly lower at 57% and my versatility is 1% higher at 6%. Uh, basically, you want a lot more haste with this build, with Witch Doctor's Wolf Bones, especially once you get the 2 to 4 set bonus. The more haste you got, the more you hit, the more you auto attack, the more you cooldowns and you just start feeding it off more. But then again, you want high, uh, high mastery uh, for your wolves to deal more damage because they, they do gain off mastery and the abilities that they give you i.e the increase of storm strike and more flame damage uh you want to really really seize that opportunity because in essence that that's going to be a constant buff that you've got going for yourself especially when the wolves start running out uh and i, I like a fair bit of crit so i tend to usually stay above a 21 percent but that is for my Witch Doctor's Wolf Bones build. Now, to go for my uh, my Doom Winds build, which my Wind Fury build is, it's got some gear is slightly missing, it says, but they're not missing, it's just I've replaced them completely. So I'm just going to save that. And here is the, the Doom Winds build. I am probably a bit overcapped with this. I am going to go over it in a, in a little minute. But my crit goes to 21, my haste goes to 31%, my mastery drops down to 41%, or my versatility jumps up to 13%. That's pretty much because of this ring that I've got here, Signet of the Collapsing Stars. It's got a, a lot of haste and a lot of verse. That's pretty much a really, really good base ring for this build because... Uh, Doom Winds doesn't really get much in terms of mastery. You need a, a lot of verse. It gains more from versatility. So if depending on what you're running, like I have separate gears, and I will do once I start getting more and more gear, I will start separating out properly my new gear and whatnot. Uh, for example, Stitch Flesh Misplaced Signet will replace this one because it's it's haste verse, but at the minute. I don't want to lose that much haste uh, because Doom Winds, you need high haste, high verse. Whereas all the others, you need high haste, high mastery. So depending on what build you are going to go and depending on what build you are going to play with uh, depends on your stat weights. Uh, you know, it, even on the icy veins, you know, they recommend hate, uh, agility, 
you know, haste, uh, mastery, crit, kind of being equal, uh, depending in it, it totally depends what what build, but generally, like I said before, Doom wins, uh, haste, mastery. Doom wins haste first, but don't ignore crit. Mastery, you can kind of go down to the lower twenties with Doom wins, uh, because basically your 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 main damage is going to be coming from your wind fury totems, uh, and especially them uh, wind them Doom wins. Uh, big procs with ascendance or whatever you guys are using you know that that's when it's really gonna come out from then uh and then your other builds are haste mastery especially with your single target and your lava actuators but that's about it uh in terms of gems always go to what stat you want to your leaning if you're going for a high haste build, usually I set the the, 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 the medium cap is about 28% haste, I would say. And then you're not really suffering too much, especially with the double Legos, guys. Bear in mind, with the double Legos, you do get a lot of, uh, you know, especially with Necrolord, the double Lego does give you haste from every primordial lightning bolt after a primordial wave. Seeds of Rampant Growth gives you... Uh, increases critical chance for four seconds for 15 secs but that stacks and reduces your, your feral spirits uh, vesper totem is just basically more damage uh, i'm gonna personally i'm looking forward to vesper totem an elemental conduit uh, is basically just going to spread your flame shocks more and reduce the the cooldown of of, of that but the, i mean there are different builds like i've got other videos that you guys can watch on, on, on them but in terms of stat weights and everything like that, it's it's really that that's it. Uh, you know, it's either high haste, high mastery, high haste, high verse. It's yeah. Uh, I'd I'd recommend simming your characters, having a play about with your builds. Uh, you can use me as a as a comparison. I do fairly well, good DPS. Uh, uh, you know, d depending on what dungeon and yeah you know, and whatnot, but. I'm a, I'm a good springboard because if you can get your stats better than mine then then really you're you're on you're on for a winner uh so yeah i hope you love the video i hope you found it useful guys uh comment below you know i get back to you on your stat weights i can help or you can help me you know uh but but yeah hope you like the video hope you found it useful follow or subscribe i have got a twitch and i've got a discord Look on my profile, the links are there. Join me, it is your destiny. Uh, it is your destiny. I can't even do a Darth Vader voice, but anyway, I guess. As always, thank you for watching. Average Shaman, out.